Uh, well, the whole project began by investigating um, the proposal for desalination in Santa Cruz, and it sort of spiraled out from there by looking at essentially the entire water cycle and all sort of water-related issues and problems we're facing in Santa Cruz County. The physicality of the work sort of took the form of an installation and it was meant to be an experience where um, people that come to the show would be able to see a series of photographs uh, in conjunction with video and a large touchscreen tablet. Um, on the touchscreen was uh, basically just the website that I created for the work and it was an interactive map uh, embedded in it, uh, photos, descriptions, stories, information. I built the map in something called ArcGIS which is something that people use for like spatial analysis, environmental analysis. And then I styled that all using something called Cardo CSS. So I've made interactive maps in the past, right? And I've, and I've designed maps as posters and I've designed things as graphics. You know, I've, I've sort of worked within that visual realm and oftentimes sitting in front of a computer, you're, you're very disconnected, right? Especially when you're building maps about a landscape, you're disconnected from that landscape inherently because you're sitting behind a desk in some place that's removed. Even if you're living within that place, you're still disconnected. So one thing that I did in this project was that I actually went to all of these places um, with my camera, uh, with two undergraduate researchers who had cameras. And it was, it was sort of a process for us of exploration, going to these places. And in the process, like having your feet on the ground, uh, you become connected and tied to these places. And I think what it does is it, it gives the map a sense of actual, I don't know, emotional caring or actual sense of place. I think that's, that's kind of that aha moment was saying, okay, I really need to be out in these places if I'm actually going to truly connect with them and actually represent them well in my work. A lot of people that came to the exhibit were local Santa Cruz residents. And as a result, they had sort of a vested interest and sort of prior knowledge in water issues and the local environment. I mean, this is a very environmentally conscious place where we live. So it, it created a lot of very interesting discussions. There was a lot of information sort of embedded within the map for people to explore. So it was sort of interesting to sort of, for me to start, sort of step aside and allow them to investigate and sort of find these things that, that I'd placed in there that were, that were somewhat hidden and somewhat intentionally so. Um, so that was sort of a, an interesting process of discovery and and, and I was very interested by that because for me, this whole research project was a process of discovery as well, right? So I'd like them to sort of almost like, you know, experience it the way I did. You know, sort of this unfolding of information, this sort of exploration of place in which we live. Uh, which in the process is how you get more embedded and interested in that place, right? The way I did this research and the way I put together this project could apply to other areas. You know, there's serious environmental concerns everywhere you turn. So, uh, you know, finding ways to interact with arts, sciences, and bring that to the public, I think could, uh, could apply it in, in many different places and many different themes and issues.